What is good, YouTube? I'm going to give you guys three videos today because I'm feeling good about myself right now. So, <laughs> so I'm going to just draw out another video. We're going to talk about the fit, the analysis of Jeff Green coming to Memphis. He has been inconsistent. I had a lot of dislikes for that. I had two dislikes. I had more likes than dislikes, but I had two dislikes on that video because I wasn't that high on this trade. Even though the trade just started, and he hasn't even played 10 games yet. Jeff Green is not a go-to player. He's not a missing piece on no team. Jeff Green is not a player that's going to say, if we get Jeff Green, he can push us over the limit. I said that in that video. And Jeff Green is not a franchise player. He's not a superstar player. He's not a star player. He's just a role player. And Jeff Green pretty much proven me right when I made that statement. I got a lot of dislikes for that video. But I knew I told you guys the truth in that video. Jeff Green, this trade did not make no more instant any better. I mean, Jeff Green is doing better than Tayshaun Prince was. Tayshaun Prince was averaging seven points in 24 minutes. Jeff Green is averaging around 14 points in, in uh, 30 minutes. We all know Jeff Green is way better than Tayshaun Prince. And that's why I said in the video, Jeff Green is a better player than Tayshaun Prince. He's more athletic, he's quicker, he's faster, he can stand, he's a good defender, and he's a better scorer. But Jeff Green, the worst part about Jeff Green is his offense. He struggles to score consistently. He always been a player, even in Georgetown, he just struggles to dominate a game. And Memphis Grizzlies, that's what they need. They need a Rudy Gay type player. Rudy Gay is putting up 20 points on a good field goal percentage for the Sacramento Kings right now. He's putting up 20 points on 45% shooting, and he's shooting good from a three-point shot. They need a player that can shoot, that can score in the post, that can score in the get to the paint, that can finish around the paint, can get some dunks, can get some free throws, to get them some easy baskets so they don't have to work so hard to score. Because you think about it, the Memphis Grizzlies going to struggle in a seven-game series against the Golden State Warriors and like teams like the San Antonio Spurs where they can play you one-on-one -on -one in the post. And live with the results. But how can but Memphis Grizzlies, what they gonna struggle is how is their role players gonna step up against the Spurs, against OKC? How is their role players gonna we know Mark Gasol gonna get buckets? We know Zach Randall gonna get his buckets. We know Mike Conley gonna get his buckets. But none of them players are giving you 25 to 30 points a game. They're giving you 17 to 15 points a game. So none of them players are really dominating the game. So Memphis Grizzlies don't have one. They only got one player right now that's dominant, and that's Mark Gasol. And even he don't get 30 points a game. He could get 30, but if he's the only person that's getting 20 or 30, it's going to be hard for this team to beat winning the seven-game series. And Jeff Green, I was saying, he's not the missing piece. They need some more pieces. They need a better bench. They need more shot creators on this team, and that's something that they don't have. They put Jeff Green in the post. Jeff Green is quick, he's big, he's tall, he's athletic. He can dominate in the post. It is that he doesn't have the touch in the post. He can back you down. The best thing he can do is back you down, turn around, and get a dunk. D do a, a reverse spin move, a layup off the backboard. But he don't do that. So all he done, he's doing is turn around with jump shots or turn around with a hook shot. Who knows? Jeff Green don't have no damn hook shot. Jeff Green ain't got no damn turn around jump shot because he's an inconsistent shooter. Jeff Green is not a knockdown three-point shooter. Tayshaun Prince wasn't either. But he that's the problem. that They didn't fix none of these problems with his Jeff Green trade. Jeff Green is not a knockdown three-point shooter. He's a better shooter than, Je than Tayshaun Prince, but he's not a that significant of an upgrade over Tayshaun Prince because he's more athletic. He can get out on a fast break. He can catch alley-oops and lobs. He can finish in the paint with layups with both hands. He's a good free throw shooter. He adds some aggression to the team. He adds some finishing ability to the team. He adds some person that can create his own shot, something that Tayshaun Prince can't do. Jeff Green can create his own shot in the post. He can create his own shot off the dribble. He can create his own shot from the three-point line. He can do these things, but he's just inconsistent at doing them. He's not a, a go-to player yet, He's and he's 29 years old. I don't think he ever would be. And he, he be, was playing good in Boston when we had Rondo giving them easy looks. Since Rondo left, he started struggling. When Rondo, started, when Rondo left, Jeff Green struggled to score. Now he went to Memphis, 
He's shooting 38% from the field. He's struggling to score out here. He's literally struggling. And he's shooting 29% from the three-point line. He's averaging 4.6 rebounds and 1.8 assists. But he's averaging 13 points a game in 29 minutes. And in, a, in January, he's averaging 12 points on 35% shooting on with four rebounds and one assist. He's just struggling to be consistent. He's struggling to be good offensively. Jeff Green is not the answer to their problems. They still need more talent on the bench and more shot creators. Vince Carter has been struggling, too, with his own shot. He's been struggling from the three-point line. He's been struggling to create his own shot. We thought Vince Carter was going to be in a missing piece. He's struggling. This team has bad floor spacing. They have no no go-to playmaking score besides Mike Conley. And I was hoping that Jeff Green would come in here and be a person that can get to the paint, get some fouls, get some, draw some attention, draw some double team, knock down the open three ball, but he's just been struggling. I know it's only been a couple games, but he did the same shit when Rondo left Boston. He struggled. He's not a go-to player. He's not the missing piece for the Grizzlies. He is an upgrade over Tayshaun Prince, though. He's way better than Tayshaun Prince. And if they can get him to get if they can get him in some comfortable spots, Jeff Green can give you 17 points to 18 points a game. If you put him in the spots where he can he can succeed. If you can put him in the in the mid-range area where he can get some floor space and he can get to the line. He can get to the free throw line. He can get to the paint. He can get some layups. He can get some dunks. He can get some alley oops. He can get out on the fast break. If you can get him into he where he's his strong suit at, he can give you a nice 43% shooting, 18 points on 43% shooting, which is good enough. But that can we're gonna have to see as this trade plays out, as the season goes, is Jeff Green gonna get in the positions where he's good at? Right now they got him in uncomfortable positions. And they're not spacing the floor out for him enough so he can get the ball where he needs to get it. So Jeff Green has been struggling, just like he did in Boston. He's shooting 35% in January, which is abysmal. Jeff Green needs to get his act together. He needs to get in better positions to score. He needs to get out in a fast break. He needs to get in them driving lanes. He needs to get to the basket. And he needs to knock down them open three-point shots. But like I said, he is better than Tayshaun Prince. So he upgraded, but he's just not the missing piece. And that's my analysis. They need more than just Jeff Green if they want to win a championship. Because Jeff Green is not a go-to player. He's not a star player. He's better than Tayshaun Prince, but he's still not what they need. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Check out my older video. If you're new to the channel, you like this video, you like my older video, subscribe. And feel free to dislike, because I know I'm going to get a lot of likes for this video. And I'm going to get a lot of hate for the video. But I'm an analyst. We got to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Even if it costs me subscribers, I got to tell my people the truth. People going to ride with me anyway.